Hello everyone. This is Thursday, May 26th, 2022. It's 12.30 p.m. and 21 degrees Celsius. I'm in North York, at the vicinity of Young Street and Finch, Finch Avenue. I'm gonna do a little walking tour around this area just to show what it's like here. A very busy part of the city. Lots of traffic, lots of construction going on, lots of everything. So it's a, a vibrant part of the city, which I really, when we lived here, this was, this was practically my neighborhood. I just lived down a little bit on Finch Avenue from here. So this was part of my neighborhood when we lived here. So I just naturally had to come back to this neighborhood and do a video. Great weather up here. This is like I've been thrust into summer. Halifax don't feel like summer just yet, but Toronto certainly does feel exactly like summer. Beautiful, beautiful day. So we'll go exploring and see what's new here and what's not new. This stuff's all going up. This is new. There's new stuff planned for this area right here. This whole block, just up the street, there's a place that used to be a Chev dealership and they're all closed down and boarded up and they're getting ready to build something there. And there's one across the street getting uh, ready. So this area is about to grow a whole lot. There's a picture of North York. And I guess these are the new ones that's going up here. So we'll continue on. Might be a little noisy here. As I said yesterday when I made my video, I forgot my microphone in Nova Scotia, so I haven't got a microphone. But my phone has a pretty good microphone. This is the, uh, this is the Google phone, Google Pixel Phone 5. 5, 5A, I think is what it is. So it's, it's got a pretty good sound and it's got a really sharp picture, so I think we'll be all right without the microphone for this time. And yeah, when I get back home, we'll start using it again. If I stay out of the wind today, I'll be good. I see somebody's Facebook in me, but I'm gonna ignore that for now because I wanna get this video done. My wife is visiting a, a fellow co-worker she used to work with, this lady, who's still at the same place, but needless to say, my wife has moved on with me and we live in Nova Scotia now and she works down there, but she used to work with this lady she'd gone to visit at her job. We formed a lot of friendships just through our work. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow to see some of my co co-workers I used to work with. Going down to their yard in Ajax, where we used to keep our trailers and trucks. And I'm going to meet up with some of my fellow employees down there tomorrow, people I used to work with. So I'm that excited about that. Well, here we are walking in North York. Beautiful part of the city. This is the heart of that when when this was a separate city, this was like the downtown of North York, from Finch and Young on down to the Shepherd, Shepherd and Young maybe, was uh, downtown North York. It's like a city all in itself, but it's growing fast to get 
blend in with Toronto, I guess. I have to separate the two pretty soon. Anyways, enjoying this beautiful day, this lovely weather. Those glass buildings right over there, that's the corner of Finch and Young Street. But I started up just a little bit, making my way down, so I thought that was a better place to start. Walking on Young Street. We just drove all the way down Young Street from Newmarket. Took about an hour with all the traffic lights and everything. Feels kind of strange walking around here because this is where we, this is our neighborhood practically. And, and walked around here a lot and, and, and that was four years ago we left and it just feels weird back here all of a sudden walking around the streets again I can't say I don't miss it because I do I do miss Toronto I miss a lot of things here but I retired and I knew I was going to have to save money somehow so I we moved down east to where it's a little cheaper to live than it is here. It's getting expensive in Halifax too, but it's still better than here. Okay. Continue on across it. That right there is the Finch bus station and subway station. And everything rolled into one. There's, there's the regional buses, the city buses come in just down the street a little bit from here, and the subway is down there too. And this is a big transportation hub right here in this corner. And the other station for the west is over on that side. You can walk right under the street here to get over there. There's always a lot of back, background noise here in the city. If you just stand still, you can hear a, a dull roar. That's all the cars and machinery and people talking and everything all added in together. It's just like a, a, a kind of a roar in the background. Okay, so that's your subway station right there. The Go station, subway, everything. There's the city buses come in here to the subway station, which is some of it's across the street right here. Across here is where you can get on the subway from over here. And that would be the Go and regional, regional buses. So that is the Finch subway station on Young Street. And buses. Young, young, you get on the bus there as well as the subway. Okay, I think we got that straightened out. Let's head on down. Heading south on Young Street. Wind blowing here. I hope I don't make too much racket in my phone. We'll try our best to stay out of it if we can. That 
goes right into the subway station there too as well. These are the entranceways. I wish I wasn't wearing my coat, but I put it on this morning. Now I'm stuck with it. Because it is truly like summer up here. This is like an incredible, incredible day. Okay, this is the corner now, right here, of Finch and Young, which we could see it from a long ways back because of those glass buildings right there. They marked the corner, but this is the corner of Finch and Young. My old neighborhood, which I lived here for four years. That's where we used to get our prescriptions from the drugstore was right there at that shoppers. There's a lot of interesting cafes and stores along here too. A lot of nice places to go eat and have coffee and different things like that. So, yeah, it was very handy neighborhood to live in because you had everything, everything around you here. As I say, I didn't live right on this corner, but I didn't live too far. You just go down Finch Avenue there a little bit and you'll be at where I used to live, no, not far. It certainly looks like downtown here, don't it? It's built up a lot. That building wasn't there when I was here. That one, that one is a new one. There's a lot of Asian people live in this neighborhood right here. And they have a lot of uh, shops here too. A lot of uh, Chinese and Japanese, and Vietnamese, and all different kind of Asian restaurants are in the neighborhood. And I don't believe these buildings were here. No, they weren't. There, that's all new. That's all new right there. Oh, I believe it's new. I think it is. Yeah. Sometimes things can get a little fuzzy after you're away for a while. Not sure about things exactly, but...
I think I'll go to the next light, and then we'll come up the other side of the street. Let me just take a look at my uh, camera here and see how much... Okay, it's only uh, 17 and a half minutes yet. We got lots of time yet. I know you're going to love the, the CN Tower video I made yesterday. You're going to absolutely love that. Good view of Toronto. You see how it's been, how it built up over the years, how large it is. Well, I told you yesterday that I was experiencing trouble with my gimbal and having a hard time holding my phone up with it. It wasn't staying up. But today, it's working good. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a little glitch. But it's working all right today, so I'm not going to complain. It's working great today. Looking down this side street, North Town Way. Yeah, I'll walk to the crosswalk and then we'll turn it out and come up the other side. Because I don't want to go too far. I left my wife visiting a friend and she's probably going to get done there within an hour. So I can't go too far away. One thing you'll find here in Toronto, if the drivers are very impatient and you get a lot of people who like to try to intimidate you on the road and things like that. Not everybody, it's a few. And they're willing to risk life and limb to try to pass you in a spot where they shouldn't. You have some of that. You have your share of tailgaters that like get up on your bumper and toot their horn. And, like, we we drive over the speed limit. We don't drive slow. We drive if the speed limit's 100, we're doing like 115. And those people get up on our bumper and tailgate us, and and, and uh, they got other lanes they can pass if they want to. So people try to start stuff like that here. That's, that's, there's a lot of bad habits in the drivers here. I'm gonna push this button so I can get across the street. A button with no sound, just a button. So I'll tell you what corner I'm on here shortly. Young and Churchill, which is a, not a major street, it's just a, a small street. But 
this is where I'm going to start back the other way. Just looking south on Young Street. That gold bus, in case you're not from Toronto or don't know, is a regional bus that it goes out out of the city to smaller towns around the area. There's a lot of those type of buses here. They go up at, like to Barry and Newmarket and Milton and, and all those kind of places. All right, here we go. Got my walk sign. We'll be going north on Young Street now on the other side of the road. You'll probably get a little different perspective as we go up the other side. Just looking right down Young Street on the way through here. Okay, up we go, north, north, northward bound. And it does look different here. You couldn't see that building like that from over there because that was right beside it. So you certainly get a different different take on it going back the other way on this side of the street. Oh yeah, I forgot when I was mentioning the different Asian people that lived here. There's Korean too. I just passed a Asian Korean Korean church right there. And Middle Eastern, don't forget them. There's kebab. Don't forget the Middle Eastern people. There's a high Middle Eastern population here as well. So. If you will come to Toronto and you're expecting to see all white Canadians, <laughs> forget it. Don't come here if that's what you're expecting to see. You're not going to see that. You want to see this is a this is a melting pot for every almost every country. They come here. And in the in the in the apartment area where I used to live, we had a lot of Russians in there. there was, people came from Russia and lived in our building. We probably had one third Russians in our building. So it depends on where you live. Like there's pockets of whatever, right? There's uh, you go up here north of north of Finch and you start to see a lot of uh, Jewish people. There's something you can't get in Halifax. Men's haircut, eight dollars. It was eight dollars when I left here four years ago. A lot of many of these uh, these Asian barber shops, they have men's haircuts for eight dollars. Now, where are you going to beat that eight dollar haircut? I can't get my haircut in Halifax at less than fifteen. Then you got to leave them a tip. Take you out about. 18 or 19. Oh, yeah, I might say $20 get a haircut. It's $8 here in the Asian communities. All the way up Young Street from here, anywhere you find an Asian barber shop, it'll be about $8 for a haircut.
So, so much for your inflation. You don't have inflation on the haircut. <laughs> when I get up to Finch, we'll walk down Finch a little ways. I'm not going to walk all the way down to where I used to live, but we'll walk a little ways just to give you a feel of Finch Avenue West. There's a little shady area in the middle of the hustle and bustle. It's not exactly a park, but it's shade from the trees and some plants there. Not a bad little spot. The first time I came to Toronto, there was none of these high buildings here. There were all those two and three story buildings, shops in the bottom. And over the years, one sprang up, another one, another one, and now it looks like downtown. It, it's, it's a lot of high rises here now. Which I love it. I love the city. I like to see tall buildings. I see concrete buildings and glass towers. Something that I like. I, I, I'm a city person. I'm not a person to live out in the woods somewhere. It's on a old gravel road. That, that would drive me insane. Couldn't handle that. <laughs> I need to live where I can go get a coffee at 2 in the morning if I feel like it where there's something to do on the weekends or any day. Since I don't work anymore, I can, uh, I just like to see stuff open. I don't want to live out in the middle of nowhere. Busy streets are, are for me, not, not, not gravel roads, not, not paved back roads. But give me a busy city, that's what I like. That's why I like making videos in a city because uh, I, I love being in the city. I'll soon be back to Finch again. Those buildings in the back look new but the front here doesn't. So I think they saved the front and built the buildings up behind or something. I'm not sure. Can't really say, I'm not sure. And maybe they were there. They could have been. We've only been gone four years. Maybe they were. I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter. It don't matter that much. It's hard to remember everything when you went to a new place and you're trying to Learn all you can about that place. Try to remember ever all the details in the place you came from. I was kind of hoping I would run into a fellow YouTuber that lives in Toronto, well-known YouTuber, Johnny Strides. I was hoping I would run into him on the street, but I haven't seen him yet. I didn't contact him or anything, but I just thought maybe I'd bump into him on the street doing videos. And, but I haven't seen him, you never know. I'm not, not left yet, still time.
my wife must be having fun with her friends. She hasn't, uh, she hasn't called me yet. Well, she's got the car, I'm on foot, so she, she can call me when she's ready to go. I'll have this video wrapped up by then, I would think, because I'm going to check it again, see how many minutes I'm at. Just to see what, what it's at, let's we'll see if I can make it out here. 32, almost 33 minutes. So I got enough time probably to do a little more yet. Make this a decent video since I don't get up here very often. This is the first time in four years since we left that we've been back to Toronto. But I hope I can come more often in the future. Like if I could even come up here for a week once a year, that wouldn't be too bad. I come up here and make a good supply of videos, bring back with me. Now I'm not gonna show these all at once because I'm supposed to be making videos about Halifax, not Toronto, so. I'm gonna show them one, possibly a week, and then possibly next week another one like that because I don't wanna give you the impression that I've abandoned Halifax to come to Toronto and make my videos. Now, this is a one-time thing for this year. Yeah, I'm just making a few videos to give you a little variety. And it don't hurt, I've seen other I've seen other video makers go other cities and, and make a video and show it to their viewers. And I've watched other people's videos and, and they went to other cities and made videos and I enjoyed them. So I think you will. Take it for what it is. I'm gonna probably put one up a week, which means you'll have the next two or three months of one a week. How you like that? Gonna be a one little variety every every week for more than the next two months. You gotta see a Toronto video. Man, if I lived up here, I would never run out of material. You could never, you could never be at a loss of what to do next if you live here. I should have got into this when I was here, but I didn't. It was, it was a new thing, I guess, and and, and uh, I was included on all this. Wasn't until later. I was I was back in Nova Scotia when I started watching YouTube videos of people walking around doing videos. I didn't even know about it before that. So once I started watching other people's videos, I said I could do that. So here we are. Came out here and started making videos. So and that was that was about. Let me see. I think it was about two years ago when I started making videos, if I'm not mistaken. So I've been at it two years and I have now five, 750, six or seven subscribers. So I'm getting there. I'm hoping that maybe, maybe by Christmas, I might make a thousand. I don't know. We'll see. If I can get a lot of people to subscribe, I might make it. But we'll see how it goes. I'll keep plugging away at it anyways. And wherever it goes, we'll still stay at it. Well, I'm walked down Finch as far as Beecroft which is one of the subway stops. There's the bus I used to take, 36 feet west. We always had a car up there, but I took the bus 
most places except for work because I, I work in Scarborough so I take my I drove up there. I'm across the street here. We're looking down Finch West. The first major is Bathurst. The second major is Dufferin. Third major is Keel. Fourth major is Jane. Fifth one is probably Western Road. And I'm not sure of them all what order they come in after that. I know Islington is down there. I know this area better than I do. When, once, I get, once I get past Jane, I don't really know everything really great. No, this is, this is the area I know the best up here. Thankful for that little bit of wind, otherwise I'd be cooking with my I have my denim jacket on and it's open, I'm getting some air, but it is a little warm. But I have a bag in my hand from Laura McQuaid, musical instruments. I have a, a bag in my hand, which I don't dare drop. I have no way to carry it, because when I came up here, I didn't bring my backpack that I always carry around now, in fact. I don't know why. Left it home, and I left my microphone in it, and that was my accident, but that's what happened. So we have to make do without the backpack and without the microphone. It's only for a week, I think I can manage. Well, we're back to the corner of Finch and Young, almost to the Finch and Young again. As you notice, the buses up here look a lot different than they do in Halifax. They're red with, I think, some white in it, or not white, an off-white or something in it, maybe. But they're pretty much red. And in the front, they all got those little blue lights. These are the Finch Buses 36. This is 36A, Finch West. Yeah, they're white and red. Red and white, that's what they are, red and white. Mostly red with a white stripe and a little white stripe at the top. Well, we just stand here and look around for a minute so you can see what this neighborhood looks like right here. Quite a bit of wind blowing here, I think. I'm gonna get out of the wind and sign off because this wind is gonna be blowing right at me walking up the rest of Young Street. Okay, so this video is 41, 42 minutes long. I hope you're, I hope that was long enough for you and here I am on the corner of Finch and Young Street in North York, which is part of Toronto. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, push like. And if you're not yet a subscriber, just push that 
that subscribe button. That will help a lot. We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers as soon as we can. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm going to still be here. Even if we don't get them, I'm still, if we don't get it for the next six months, I'm still going to be here. So I'm not giving up just because I got to my thousand subscribers. Don't worry, Halifax Walker is not going away. So with that, I hope you have a really fine day today. Everything is going great. And until next time, take care, be safe, and we'll see you all again on the next video. Bye for now.